Hey guys, what's going on? This is Igor for Gaming. Awesome. Today we're playing Life is Strange, uh, episode 2 on the PC. There's a woman here. I kind of want to talk to her. Hello. Hi. Hello, you stranger. Lost. Really? Close. Do you know if the bus has come yet? The online schedule isn't working. Don't walk up to strangers on the street and ask them if they look lost. One of them's going to hit you in the face. <laughs> okay. Uh, yeah, I'm not sure. I just got off the school bus, but I'm sure the regular bus is coming too. Oh, that's a relief. <laughs> I can't be late for this job interview. I can't believe I have to take a bus all the way to Newport just to find a second job. Are things that bad here? Where are things good? I can't even afford to live here. Well, good luck. Thanks, I sure need it. Are things that bad here? Says the only girl that knows this entire place is about to get torn down by a giant tornado in like two, three days now? No time for chit chat. I'm a millionaire. Yep. Got my lottery ticket right here. Waiting for the bus so I can cash it in. Seriously? Alright. Spoiler alert, that guy doesn't actually have the winning lottery ticket. Or maybe he does, who the f knows? Maybe he's just very um, generous with that sort of information. There's that dirty RV from the other day. Okay. Oh, uh, shit! Stop that! Stop! No barky. No barky! There's no barky, Sparky! About that guy and his dog. Really? Really? So it's just gonna keep... Okay. I thought I might be able to talk to the guy, but I guess not. I don't know why. I don't know why I'm walking around completely aimlessly. I don't have a plan here. Hold to another universe. Maybe. Who the hell knows? I can travel through time. I'll believe anything at this in point. Hello, sir. What kind of things do you have on your market? Look at all these flyers. It's so sad that nobody will read them. You just read them, so there. Good morning. Looks like you're ready to catch some serious fish. I wish, young gal. Arcadia Bay just isn't the same fishing town I grew up in. Yeah, things definitely change over time. Has the town changed much? By Neptune's beard it has. Seems like a lifetime ago when I was king of the harbor. You were the king of the harbor? All right, once again, find that very hard to believe. You probably are waiting for the same bus that that millionaire is waiting for. You have your own boat? I call her the Bali High. I've kept a hold of her in these lean days. Might be all the time we've got left. I thought one of Arcadia Bay's main exports was fish. Oh, the fish used to jump onto my boat until the Prescotts and their finance fiends snapped up harbor rights. So you didn't even do anything? bragging you were king of the harbor. You didn't even catch the fish. The fish came to you. The Prescotts have a lot of power. They might rename the town Prescott Bay, if that tells you much. Wow, this is like the longest conversation I've had with like most of my friends, even. Do you know them? Do good for my working kind. I know them through their bad deeds. Let's not get downcast. I hear the fish calling for Bali High. Never forget that old fishermen never die. We just smell that way. I'd love to learn more, but I have to get going. Happy fishing out there. Happy fishing. Enjoy holding your crotch. I'll leave you to that. Thank you so much. Appreciate What is that? What are those little lines? Is that supposed to be wind? It's a really weird visual way to represent wind. You know what? Since it's letting me, I'm just going to go ahead and explore the town. Snow. I don't care. Well, that's a good start to the story. I'm an explorer. Magellan, bitch. Hello, sir. So you're in a newspaper there. Want to talk about Excuse it? Excuse me. Sir? Can you believe this town? The world is on fire, and our big headline is snow. I can hardly wait for next week's big story. Clouds! Well, I mean, the snow was kind of odd. Just saying. How long have you lived here? Long enough to know that Arcadia Bay will be a ghost town in a few years. In a few years? Might be a couple of days. The paper can only talk about that or about missing girls. You mean Rachel Amber? I guess. I bet she ran away because she was bored. Who wouldn't be here? Dude, why are you still here? 
if you hate this town so much, why don't you divorce it? Now, the lack of... Oh, wait, can I go... Can I go around? Oh, that's that's weird. I've ventured, I've ventured into the weird part of the internet again. Can I just keep going? Nope, Probably I stop me. Yeah. Alright, so if I read that correctly, if I read the ending of episode one, there is a tornado coming to destroy the entire town, right? In like a few days? Or am I just crazy? Am I crazy now? I don't know. I've been playing this game for too long. Hello. Oh, look at you. A fine example of youth. I bet you're a senior student. Yes, I go to Blackwell Academy. I could tell you're a wise young woman. I know all about Blackwell and this town. Okay, look at all this stuff. Oh my god. Alright, let's talk, crazy woman in the alley. I bet you have dirt on the Prescott family. That whole family is dirty. They once done good things for Arcadia Bay. Those days are dead, like anything in their way. I know somebody who's being threatened by a press card. Then you be their guardian angel, because nothing gets in the way of that family, especially not the law. Hell, they own your school, Blackwell. Almost. Hmm, alright. This woman really does seem to know a lot. Well, it's a good thing I told Kate not to go to the police then. If they have the law on their side, uh, I guess let's go with Joy Price. You must know Joyce Price from the Two Whales Diner. She's fed me more than my own family. How's a daughter your age who's always in trouble? Married to a real prick. Amen to that, sister! His name is David Madsen. He told me to get a job once, asshole. Not sure what Joyce sees in him, but he better treat her right. Get a job. Oh, is she blind? Is that what's happening here? How long have you lived in Arcadia Bay? A thousand years. I've gone through the same changes as the town. What changes to the town? Once it takes a lifetime to see. There's a lot of beauty here, but a lot of darkness, too. Greedy bastards that ruin this town put people out of work. Out of home. Like me. I'm sorry. Have you ever lived outside of here? Where the hell would I go? I hate the sun and love the mist. I might be homeless, but Arcadia Bay is still my home. I have got a go big ahead. ass house. Goodbye. All right, thank you so much. Thank you so much, homeless lady that sleeps on a cardboard box in the alleyway that I just decided to, decided to talk to for some reason. Cool. So I thought that I might be able to, uh, oh, photo, cool. I thought I might be able to sneak up and talk to that guy. Try to get behind that dog, but I guess not. All right, so we got fire walk with me. What the hell? That's from, that's literally from uh, Twin Peaks. Fire walk with me. That's actually the name of the Twin Peaks, uh, Name of the Twin Peaks movie. That was a spin-off off the show. Huh. That's weird that that's there. Alright, well, I guess I'm done. I, I, I really don't see how I can possibly interact with any more things that are around here. So, let's just go inside and finally meet my friend. Man, that smell of breakfast and the sound of clanging silverware. Makes me feel 13 again. Food! I want food! I'm actually on a diet right now, as we speak. I'm trying to be very uh, health conscious right now. IRL in real life. And that looks so good! Good! My entire kingdom for a cupcake! Drew, Please! <laughs> I want everything. Yeah. That's, that makes two of us. That is definitely a banjo tune. Whoa, Ken Kesey with Joyce? That's so perfect. All right, don't really know if I even need to interact with any of this the stuff. Fishing wall of fame. All right, so let's sit.
I'm here! Serve me! I am a patron, and I deserve food. Please also bring something for Igor, because he's hungry. And there she is, a lovely young woman. How are you doing, Max? Hi, Joyce. It's nice to see you again. You look the same. <laughs> like I'm still a waitress at Two Whales after all these years. No, like you still look pretty. Nice save, kid. You're still smart. Aren't you sweet, Max? Not that smart. Now you get busted for smoking pot. <laughs> I heard the whole sordid story from David. I'm sorry this was how you had to meet him. He's a good I didn't man. smoke weed, okay? No matter what Chloe says. Yeah, I'm sure. I don't even smoke, like, ever. It was almost an accident. It was very stupid. I'm, I'm sorry. Oh, it surprised me fierce. I was hoping you could be a good influence in her life now. I will be. Promise. I know things were hard for you and Chloe. I feel bad I didn't call. Now my folks are in Seattle and I'm all alone at Blackwell. It's my karma. You did the right thing. You moved forward with your life. I did after William passed on. Chloe? Chloe chose to stay angry. Anyway, I hope we see more of you. Chloe needs an old friend again. Joyce, I am so sorry about William. I have great memories of him. I'm glad, Max. That was his gift to us. Wonderful memories. Even if Chloe doesn't understand yet. Okay. Yeah, Chloe understands. She does. Chloe understands. She just needs time. I know that sucks for you. Oh, she hit all the phases. Expulsion, running away, drugs, bad boys, tattoos, piercings, blue hair. <laughs> now she's got to rebel against her stepfather. Because he's I crazy. Why. I mean... Do you? He's not as much of a hard ass as you think. He has cameras in but your you house. You did tell him you had a joint, right? You took that responsibility. David scared me when he said he might have my scholarship taken away for that stupid joint. Nobody's in trouble over a doobie, Max. And I admire that you took the heat for Chloe. Like a great friend. No one's in trouble Chloe over a doobie. David, and it's not fair. He paid his dues in a war. He does care about her, along with all the students at Blackwell. Nah, I don't. I don't think so. I, I really, I, I, I really don't think so. Should I really start shit right now? Uh, uh. You know what? I'm gonna say I get it because. You know what? This is probably setting up for her asking for proof, maybe. And if I had the photo, this is the part where I might show her that her husband's an asshole. But I don't have a photo. So, uh, I'm just gonna go ahead and say I get it. I get it, Joyce. I know Chloe still likes to stir things up. Yeah, she does provoke people, especially David. I just want us to be a family soon. I guess Well, you're gonna so have to remarry. I think you're right, Joyce. So, now let's get down to the nitty gritty. What do you want to eat? Uh, mmm, oh, I don't know, guys, I don't know. I actually, fun fact about Igor from Gaming Awesome, I actually don't eat meat. It's a, it's a health-conscious choice. I actually eat, I eat fish, but I don't eat, like, like, poultry or red meat. So, for the sake of being true to my real self, uh, I'm gonna go with the uh, Belgian waffle. The last good Belgian waffle I had was here when I was 13 years old. So, bring it on. Now finish your coffee. Bring it on, my body is ready. My mouth, tongue, all the things. All the parts of me that are gonna be involved with this Belgian waffle. <laughs> One Belgian waffle for the hungry girl, pronto. One Belgian waffle at 12 o'clock high. I hope the only thing that's changed on the menu are the prices. Okay, got some graffiti over yeah, here. Graffiti. Warren must have been here. Yeah, that's real cool. Drink it! Drink the coffee! Wake up! Get slapped. Get slapped this with some is caffeine. Fourth dimensional deja vu. I keep going I back in time. This is a diner, not a bar. No beer? <laughs> Looks like you had plenty. Okay. What do I do here? Do I just look outside? The lighthouse looks so mysterious. I wish I could stay in this moment forever. I guess I actually can now. 
But then it wouldn't be a moment. What, what oh, you're getting all philosophical. Philosophicological. I'm gonna keep drinking, just keep drinking coffee, I guess. Incoming. I don't know. This is like fourth dimensional deja vu. Yeah, you just said that. You just you said that. I'm drooling like a baby. Still can't believe you're a woman. When I look at pictures of Chloe, uh. Speak of the devil. Speak of the devil. That's what I always say. You stole my life. Joyce. There's your real name. Together again. And Chloe yes. looking for a free Reunited meal. and it feels so good. I'm treating Chloe for breakfast. Are you a tone in for yesterday? Damn. Oh god, mom, please do not give Max any shit for that. She apologized. I know she did. Max is a good girl. A woman. She's 18 now. Too old to get lectures from you or Sergeant Pepper. Call him David if you don't want to be lectured. You only get one damn slice of bacon a day. Oh, said you cut off. No soup for you. you one year. Another reason to blow this town. What is this shit on the jukebox? Hey, I think I turned that on. I don't think it would have would, would have, would have even made a difference. I can't speak. Let's talk about your superpower. I don't have any explanation, and I can't explain why I saw that crazy fucking tornado. Come on, that's just a daydream. I want proof you can rewind time. This is all hmm. happening so fast. We'll start slow. Right here, now. Mm, I can tell you every single thing you have in your pockets. You have x-ray vision, dude? I don't even know what's in my pockets. Let me see. No, that's not the way that works. Okay, Max. Impress me. Um... Okay, but I, I, I don't know what she has in her pocket. I mean, let's go with chewing gum. That um, seems normal, right? Chewing gum? Nada. Not impressed. Okay, psychic girl. Let me show you what's actually in my pockets. Thank you. That's the way that's supposed to work. First she shows me, then I rewind time, and then I tell that her what's in there. Beyond epic fail. You even made me want to believe you. Are they gonna show it to me again? I need to see! You need to look. Okay, Max. Study every item carefully. And <laughs> yeah, it's and pretty memorable. So it's a it's a panda keychain with a heart. All right, cigarettes. We got what, like, uh, like seven cigarettes. I can count. I can count things. You got like, oh come on! I gotta count this. All right, so seven cigarettes, three quarters. So that's uh, that's what? That's ninety-one cents or eighty-one? God damn it! I can't count. Uh, that's eighty-six. Eighty-six cents. There's a warning ticket. Uh, okay. All right. Let's try this out. That's the sound of rewinding time. Sounds just like a riser. This is me telling you what's inside the box. Okay, Max. I'm hella ready. All right, so you got you got keys. Well, you definitely got cigarettes. I'm pretty sure you have cigarettes on you. Yes, you know I'm a smoker. But how many cigarettes? Ah, ha, 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 I told you guys. I told you that shit was going to come in handy. Seven cigarettes. A superpower that allows you to count cigarettes. Cool. Amazing. Something else in my pockets? Oh, come on. It's got to be pretty impressive. Hmm. Some money. Clearly I'm rich as fuck. How much do I have? <laughs> Clearly I'm rich as fuck. 86 cents. Oh, I knew it. I knew it was going to make me count it. Boom. I could tell the future, apparently. I could not only rewind the past, but I could tell the future in real life. 86 cents. That's right, living large in Arcadia Bay. So that was cool. Show me more. All right, well, keys. Got a little panda keychain. Duh, way too easy. I need details. Describe my keychain. Uh, pixel heart, penguin keychain, panda key. Look at this. All of the details I mentioned are all the details they asked me to repeat. A cute robot panda keychain. Boom! Not bad, Super Max. You do have that Irish luck, Caulfield. What else? Luck? That's like really freaking specific to be lucky. Damn it, I didn't read that parking ticket at all. A parking ticket. You know me well. But what is the exact time I was busted? Shit, man. 
It's probably gonna be bad. This is probably gonna be bad. This is probably gonna be bad. I really didn't look. Oh, I feel like it's 10. I feel like it's 10. <laughs> that could be completely wrong. 10.34 a.m. Booyah! Max can tell time! Look at that! Oh my god! Boss! Amazeballs! I literally just got chills all over my neck! You have powers! Yeah! That's what I'm trying to tell you! Get that crap off the table, Chloe! Sure, Mom! I guess you don't want me to leave you a tip then. I got these 86 cents that are begging for a tip jar. Very good save. Maybe I could use these 86 cents to buy her an extra strip of bacon that she was just grounded from. I'm freaking out about what just happened. You you have to show me more. Something way cooler so I will believe you without any doubt. I will predict the future. No way. Okay. Now, pay attention to everything that happens in the next few moments, so you can dazzle Chloe with your mad power. They're quizzing me right now. This is a quiz. Did you break another cup? Really? No refill for you. Does everyone have their number two pencils? I'm take this call, and leave my breakfast. Hey, where is my partner? You're a dick. Don't slap me, bitch. Take your Fight Club outside. He started it. I'm finishing it. Damn, a lot of shit just went down in like less than a minute. How convenient. Is that it? Whoa. That's the best song I've this heard is yet. sure the hell better than that other garbage. I think our jukebox is headed for Davy Jones's locker. That's gotta be it, right? What are you waiting for? Now I should four things happen. Tell Chloe everything that just happened. Alright, so four things happened. So uh she dropped the coffee pot. Then there was a, a, a police car. Then those two got into a fight, and then a song came on the jukebox. I I'm think I got it. I'm going to predict four events that will happen in the next 30 seconds or so. All right, guys. So this is definitely a little bit tricky. I actually went ahead and through trial and error figured out all the answers, but then the game kind of got stuck. And even though I had all the right answers, or what I think are the right answers anyway, um, the game kept telling me to rewind time over and over and over again. So I just restarted a checkpoint. Hopefully this works. So uh, these are definitely, definitely the right answers here. A uh, trucker drops his mug, or at least, the trucker like drops I said, his mug what I think Joyce they are. Rips him a new one. So what happens next? Um, then the alert on cops radio and he leaves and his no his partner actually leaves the cop gets an emergency alert on his radio and his partner in the car leaves without him well let's just see how this goes down okay Justin and Trevor fight and Joyce no she stops them Justin and Trevor are fighting and Joyce breaks it up this is getting good can't wait to see what happens and then, uh, the jukebox crazy has a cockroach crawls on it as the trucker plays a new song. There's a cockroach that crawls on it. Here we go. The jukebox goes crazy as a cockroach crawls on it. Pretty bizarro, Max. But let's see if everything happens like you said. I passed the first part with flying colors. But apparently I need more to graduate. Oh yeah, this is a completely different cutscene now. another cup? Oh, wait really? Go, Mom. No refill for you. Shh, now I gotta take this call and leave my breakfast. Hey, where is my partner? You called it. But he's off to go bust some skaters. Oh my god, you're gonna shit yourself. Don't slap me, bitch. Take your fight club outside. He started it. I'm finishing it. Trevor and Justin must be in love. You predicted a cockroach on the jukebox? I pledge allegiance to Max and the power for which she stands. <laughs> this isn't a toy, Chloe. I do have to be careful how I use it. Screw that! Of course it's a toy! The best toy ever? You can bang anyone with no strings attached. Oh, that's time. the first thing? It's like it never happened. Grow up. Maybe you made a move on me and I would never know. Yes, that's what I did. Long <laughs> time, Max. That's fucking insane. We have to play. I don't have time. You did not just say that. Nah. <laughs> uh, you have all the time in the nose. world. Too much blow? Except for, yeah. Hey, when your nose you okay? bleeds. When too you use your powers excited. too much. See what happens when we hook up again? Then, let's go to one of my secret lairs and fully test your power. 
You need a sidekick to guide you. Okay, girl wonder. Show me the way to Chloe's cave. You're exaggerating, right? You don't actually have a secret lair? That'd be pretty and badass. And I wonder what kind of crazy shit she has in mind now. All right, guys. We passed. We passed the time travel school with flying colors after many, many tries. But it's okay. It's all right. We got our diploma now. We will use it in the next episode. Thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you guys so much for rating. Truly appreciate your support. I'll see you guys in the next one. Hey, you. Yeah, you. Thanks for watching an awesome gaming awesome video. Now click on another video on the screen right now and watch that one too. Go ahead. I'll wait.